change the state of the modifier. In this case only the bend modifier or even multiple bend modifiers on some objects have been turned off. We can turn them back on and try to filter only the bend modifiers of the external ring. The outer ring is made of boxes with a stretch and bend modifier on top. The center ring is using a cylinder as the base object and the internal ring is using a cone. That means that we could, for example, use a WHERE statement in the first loop and filter out any objects whose base object is of class box and affect only their bend modifiers. In this case the bend modifier of the external ring has been disabled but the bend modifiers in all the other objects that do not have a base object equal to box have been left alone. We can do the same for example with the internal ring by filtering the base object equal to cone and turning off the twist modifier for example. We replace bend with twist and when we run the code the twist modifier in all the internal objects whose base object is a cone is being turned off. We can turn it on again and so on. Obviously you can apply all your previous knowledge about filtering objects by properties like names, materials and so on in order to affect only the modifiers that you really want to touch with your script. In order to delete modifiers from the stack we can use the delete modifier function. It expects a single object or a collection of objects and either the modifier to be deleted as a class instance or the index of the modifier counting from top to bottom. In this case the bend modifier has index 1, the stretch modifier has index 2 and so on. In this case the two bends have indices 1 and 2 and the squeeze is number 3. So we can delete the first modifier from a selected object by just calling the line delete modifier current selection 1. The top modifier was removed then the second modifier became the first and the third became the second so we can execute the same line again and this removes the top modifier again and then again. The last time when there are no modifiers left on the stack executing this line is going to throw an error message because there is no modifier with an index 1. We can of course directly delete the third modifier in this case the squeeze from a selected object by just providing the index 3 instead of 1 and the squeeze modifier has been removed leaving only the two bands on the stack. We can also select a couple of objects and perform the delete modifier operation which is a mapped function on the current selection. If we call this three times we're going to delete all the modifiers from the objects because they all had three modifiers. Unfortunately if you select an object that has three modifiers and an object that has two modifiers and try to call this function multiple times the first and the second time it's going to work but the third time it's going to fail because one of the objects didn't have the indexed modifier requested. This means that using the mapped version of the lit modifier is not safe enough and it's a good idea to use a for loop instead. Let's restore the scene and write